What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be covering another book that is going to be coming later this year. Uh, it's, it's the second book in the Tales from the Pizzaplex series. And also there is a confirmed third book in the series. We don't know how long the series is going to go on for, maybe another 12 books, but uh... I mean, hopefully. <laughs> we just don't know. We don't even know the whole formatting of this book yet, really. We know it's going to be a lot like The Fazbear Frights, obviously, um, but are things going to be the same? Are things going to be different? Um, are, are things going to be more canon to the, to the games? We just don't know, but let's get straight in here. So I made a video about two months ago now um, covering the cover for the first Tales from the Peterplex book called Lally's Game. That is coming out on the 19th of July 2022. This one is planned for August the 30th. So from kind of mid-July to end of August, that's like July, August. Yeah, ju yeah, July, July, August. So it's, it's like just under two months, I'd say, one and a half months. And then I may as well talk about this now. There's also a third book that has been announced and that is coming November 1st. So we've got August the 19th to basically the beginning of September and then we have one uh, at the beginning of November. So it's going to work the same way as Fazbear Frights. It's kind of once every two months, I guess. And again, with Fazbear Frights, only five books were announced at the beginning and then it turned out to be 12 books, 12 books long. So we don't know how long this is going to be and we don't know I mean, Fazbear with Frights went on for two years. This could go on for another two years before the next game uh, in the series, if there is another one. <laughs> but anyway, I think we should talk about the cover for the second book, because that has been announced, or that has been shown to us. And it's very, very interesting. I really, really like it. The book is called Haps. Um, these names are really weird. For the, you know, for the, for, for the Tales from the Peterplex, the names are very strange. We have Lally's game, like, Lally was a character in Sister Location and FNAF 6. Um, like, what does that have to do with Security Reach? Uh, now we have Haps. Like, what is Haps? Um, we're assuming that Haps is this character, uh, maybe because he's always smiling or something, he's happy. I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure, really. It's it, The names are really weird. I just feel like with Fazbear for Frights, we had, you know, Bunny Cool, uh, a lot to do with bunnies. We had flipping Blackbird. There was literally a Blackbird into the pit. Um, you know, we had, we had the, the book names were kind of not too, um, like, broad, not too outlandish. It's kind of what you'd expect for a FNAF horror book series. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is a bit weirder. What I will say about this is the um, the covers look very consistent this time. Um, I mean, the Fazbear Frights were kind of consistent, but there were a few inconsistencies all the way through it. This one seems to be kind of the same formatting all the way through if you look between the two covers. Um, the color change is actually in the top. Um, it's, it's the top uh, kind of from the number one New York Times bestselling author. So yeah, let's have a look at the... Uh, <laughs> The cover now, um, first of all, it straight up gives me sun and moon vibes. I don't really know why, because it has nothing to do with sun and moon as far as I'm aware. It seems like a completely new animatronic called Haps. Uh, it seems to be a help animatronic. Help is on the way, it says on the uh, on the front of it. It has a very creepy smile, and the reason, again, I say that it's sort of sun and moon is because it's kind of split down the middle, and on one side, it looks completely new, it looks so polished and um, like a new robot has been installed into the Peterplex and on the other side it is kind of cursed, damaged, um, yeah, it's it's a really cool cover. And actually one that reminds me a little bit of how the staff bots work in the game. There's all these really like cute staff bots, uh, the map bot included, and they look polished, they look good as new, uh, they look completely fine, but then you go down to the sewers and you find out that there's these really weird cursed staff bots, and I feel like this could be could be very similar, and one question I do have about this cover is, is this animatronic how, is this how the animatronic looks, or is this kind of representing two different times? Um, I feel like this is how the animatronic actually looks. 
which is really weird. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to come into play. Um, I really want to know about this story now. I, I want to read it. I really like the uh, red and blue backdrop as well. It kind of reminds me of Bunny Cool a little bit. Um, there's not really much else I can say about this. It's, it's obviously going to be um, an animatronic that goes corrupted. Um, a handiwork animatronic, of course. There's going to be some kind of, I don't know, just help is on the way. What does that mean? It, it kind of sounds like something's an emergency. Um, I don't know. I, I do want to just say we do have a lot of duality in Security Breach. You know, we, we have Moon and Sun, we have Vanessa and Vanny, it seems like we have this kind of new thing, and of course the staff bots. Um, it, it's just really weird that we have so much duality. Um, and I kind of want to explore that further. There's also a story in the first book uh, I know that uh, is about someone with a double, double life. All of this is really, really weird. Um, so I want, uh, I want you guys to tell me how you feel about it. Do you like this cover? Personally, I think it's amazing. I've seen loads of fan art of it on Twitter and I am a big fan. I'm a big fan of the fan art. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. Goodbye. <laughs>